MTHFR is a genetic mutation that inhibits the body's ability to convert folic acid from the food we eat into an important enzyme our bodies need to thrive, L5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. When vitally functioning within our cellular structure, this specific form of folate makes key neurotransmitters like serotonin by promoting SAMe for us to better balance our mood and gut health, promotes brain health and can bring improvement in cognition, even with dementia-related symptoms, it reduces homocysteine to protect us against cardiovascular problems like heart attacks or strokes. And when the right form of folate can be utilized by our cells, the myelin sheath in damaged nerves can get repaired, which may actually lessen nerve pain. It helps detoxify the body by promoting glutathione so we can get rid of things like heavy metals, BPAs, environmental toxins, and more. Methylfolate can reduce pregnancy-related complications like infertility, miscarriages, and neural tube defects. It's currently being predicted that up to 70% of the population likely has some form of this mutation, which is wreaking havoc along the body's methylation pathway. Let's take a look at how MTHFR functions in the body. It all starts when we eat foods and supplements with folic acid. The body takes in what's referred to as dihydrofolate or dietary folate, which then gets converted into tetrahydrofolate, which again undergoes conversion to become 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate and folinic acid. Before our cells can use it for all the important methylation tasks, it still needs to undergo one more conversion process to be fully accessible to our cells. That's where MTHFR strikes for the majority of us who have this genetic mutation. The body doesn't make this final conversion very well from folinic acid into L5-methylene tetrahydrofolate, or methylfolate for short. MTHFR doesn't technically block the enzymatic conversion, but what it does do is create a malformed or unusable version of the enzyme. This means that many of the processes that the methylfolate is supposed to kick off in the body get blocked and negative symptoms start to show up. We can think of this conversion activity in the body similar to a highway. If all MTHFR gene SNPs are working as they're supposed to, then all lanes are wide open to traffic for doing the job of converting enzymes correctly. With a single MTHFR mutation, maybe up to three of the eight lanes are making bad enzymes and not available to generate the correct enzyme. And if there's a double MTHFR mutation, as many as five or more of the eight lanes could be making the wrong nutrient form. Think of it like a lock and key. When you put the right key into the door, it turns the lock and the door opens. But when you put the wrong key into the door, often it will go in, but once it's in, nothing happens because you can't turn it to make the lock open. The bad key is just blocking the lock's receptacle from opening and preventing you from using the right key to get the door open. Adding folic acid to the diet of an individual with MTHFR is a lot like filling doors with the wrong keys. The doors become less useful and no one can go anywhere. When you have these malformed folate enzymes, they may block up a folate receptor and render it useless instead of allowing it to use the methylfolate, which would boost serotonin for mental health, promote nerve repair, and glutathione for detoxification, as well as reduce homocysteine for cardiovascular health and lower the risk of pregnancy. In some cases, research has linked these malformed enzymes, or unmetabolized folic acid, to cancer. If you have MTHFR, taking methylfolate could be a game changer for you. It will enable your body to get around the mutation's inability to create the methylfolate enzyme correctly for you. Instead, you can simply take the enzyme you need directly via a vitamin supplement. But be sure you're getting a quality methylfolate that only has the active 6S isomer. Many products are offering cheap methylfolate because they also have the inactive 6R isomer contaminating their methylfolate. This can block up the folate receptors and not give you the health results you need. Some supplement versions of methylfolate are also much less stable, lowering the potency which significantly reduces the effectiveness of the nutrient inside your body. To get the highest quality methylfolate available today and find out more information about MTHFR, visit us at 
methyl-life.com.